Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you um, some tissue tapes that I've been making recently. I watched one of Gina from Scrapanology's um, tips and tricks videos. Hi Gina! Um, and in that video she showed how to make tissue tape and um, fabric tape and all that sort of stuff. So I've been playing around with that and I've come up with the several different types of tissue tape. Um, and I'll just show you a few of the techniques that I've been using. Um, first of all, what you'll need is just some standard tissue paper. It's just like the stuff you would wrap someone's gift or something like that. Um, very cheap. You can get it just about anywhere, supermarkets, newsagents, whatever. Um, you'll need something to um, get some colour onto the tissue. So... Uh, you can use distress inks, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays or any other sprays, uh, distress stains, watercolour paints, ink tents, blocks, pretty much anything. Um, I'd stick to the water based products though. Um, and then you'll need some stamps or um, other things to decorate the tapes depending on how far you want to go with your tapes. Um, but I'll just show you a few. I've, I've been using just this ordinary tissue paper and I've been cutting it out in um, sort of across a length like this. Um, and that gives me about between four and six lengths of tissue tape per um, piece. Um, so it's very economical if you do want to make your own tissue tapes and it's quite fast if you want to make you know a few feet for if you're doing cards or whatever um, so for the purpose of the video I've just made some smaller pieces just so I can sh quickly show you the techniques that I've been using um, so there's a few different ways obviously to get color on your tissue paper um, you can either these are the just the Tim Holtz distress inks you can either just directly um, apply the ink to the tissue uh, just in a random sort of pattern and if you wanted to you could leave it like that or if you wanted to blend a bit more I've just got this it's actually a tire cleaning sponge and I just gently smear it over the top just to blend the ink a little bit um, also for the purposes of this video I will use as close to the same colors just for ease of not having to clean the products in between. Um, so you can see that gives um, a bit more of a smudged effect. I know you can still quite clearly see the outlines of the stamp pad, but once that's cut into tissue strips, you wouldn't see that for what it is. Um, if it does bother you to have those marks, then you could um, pop the ink pads on your craft mat, just popping them down randomly on your craft mat. Um, I'll just quickly show you. And you can just run the tissue over the top of that to get a more random pattern. Uh, you can be not super rough with the tissue paper, but it's not um, so fragile that it's going to tear that easily unless you get it too wet. Um, and if you do get it quite wet, like this piece is a bit too wet, you will need to dry it before you stamp or do um, any of your other techniques on there. So I'm just going to dry this off a little bit. see the colour on there is a lot more random. There's no out stamp pad outlines. Um, you can do exactly the same sort of thing with um, the distress stains. Um, you can apply them directly onto the tissue. And 
again the tissue is quite strong so you don't have to stress about it tearing if you're a little bit rushed um, you can just smear it around and then let that dry off um, before you stamp or do anything else onto that piece um, another thing that I have been using and quite liked the results from was the ink tense blocks and you can apply those directly um, to your tissue And then just apply a quite wet paintbrush um, over the top of that. But you do need to be a little bit careful because if you over rub the tissue will start to come apart. And this is another one that you have to dry thoroughly. Um, and it does take quite a bit of time to dry because there's so much water on there. So I did one of those um, a little bit earlier. And when it was dry, I didn't use any yellow on this one, so I just had the red and the orange. And that's what it looked like when it was dry. Um, you could use watercolours um, in the same way, but again, just make sure that it's dry before you do anything else with it. Um, once you have your colour on your tissue, then you just need to decide what effect or, or um, end result you want from the um, tissue so this one for example excuse my inky hands now um, I just stamped with a Tim Holtz uh, ticket stamp um, quite randomly so nothing was too aligned um, and that was just on one that I had swiped with um, the distress stains <clears throat> and this one with the little music notes was again one that I had um, popped my stamp pads upside down onto my craft mat and then just ran it through the ink to get the colour. Um, once you have decided what you would like to have on your tissue, um, on your tissue tape, so on this one we might just stamp an image. You then need to use something like a Stazon. So just inking up the stamp here. Stamping the image on top of the tissue paper. I just like to give that a quick blast with the heat gun just to heat set it. Once you've done that, turn it upside down. Well, depending on how thick or thin your tissue is, you may not need to. However, if it is an image that has writing on it, if you do it the wrong way around, it will be upside down or back to front. Uh, then you just take your uh, your um, double-sided adhesive and pop it over the top of the tissue. Don't stress too much if you get a couple of little wrinkles in it. It just sort of adds to the effect, if anything. <clears throat> 